Now we're going to just um, look at the manic reaction. A manic reaction is used to convert um, a ketone to a beta amino ketone. So we've got a ketone here. Okay, uh, it must have a alpha proton so it can form um, an enol. And we're going to take um, say formaldehyde in this case. Just draw it like this. But as we'll see, it could be um, any type of aldehyde really. And we're going to take. Um, I'll just put R1 on there. I'm going to take an amine. Okay, so these are uh, the reagents, and that is going to give eventually should give uh, a beta amino ketone okay we got that there we got that there and then the amine comes in at this position here R R okay so that's that's the alpha position there we just mark that up that's alpha and that's beta there Okay, so that's our scheme. Let's get cracking. So the first thing we need to do is make the active manic uh, reagent. Okay, so to do that, we need to react uh, the amine with the aldehyde um, to form an imine. Okay, so take our amine. Nitrogen there, sorry. It's got a lone pair of electrons, so I just put the proton there out of the way. And then we've got our aldehyde. In this case it's formaldehyde. That reacts like so to form an intermediate. I'm just going to put, um, no I'm not, changed my mind, I was going to put two R's there, might get a bit more complicated, so let's put that proton on there, this is actually picked up a proton from um, solution, okay, and we can do that, I'll leave those two protons in at the moment, just to make it look straightforward, so imagine that there's water around or something like that, they pick up uh, water or some other protic salts so we, we don't need to worry too much about this basically if we keep everything positive as you see in the other uh, tutorials if you're doing a reaction mechanism and it's positively charged and keep the positive charge you can't have negatives and positive flying around everywhere so it's best to immediately get rid of that negative charge if it's slightly acidic media it'll pick up a proton anyway so we now have this okay and this uh, needs to um, reduce itself back down to so lose the proton to give this okay so now we've got our neutral species again and what's going to happen now is there's going to be another proton flying around here we're going to lose water eventually, so I'm going to pick up a proton there, move to the next stage of this. And this is ultimately intermediate, remember, we're not even reacting uh, as a ketone yet. So we just get there like that. We've now created a really good leaving group. And that's, that's a theme that keeps popping up as well. Um, during your reaction mechanisms, very important to think about the leaving groups and if, if this is going into some protic solvent or polar solvent then this water is leaving group and very very uh, encouraged to leave um, especially if it's water as a solvent or some alcohol and hydrogen bonding will, will force that through anyway so what we're going to do now is we're going to make it leave so nitrogen being the uh, friendly chap that it is 
pushes his electrons in there and kicks off that water to give us our active manic reagent which is an imine okay I'll just write that as CH2 for now and that's positively charged now that is going to react with this but we um, if you've not done the tutorial on um, enol tautomerism sorry um, then I suggest you go and have a look at that but basically we're going to have to tautomerize our ketone so let's move that let's draw it in a different color actually let's draw it in blue it does get crowded on these uh, whoops so here's our ketone form now that can tautomerize it's always in equilibrium with its enol form if it's got a proton nearby and I've just made a mistake because that's going to draw the ketone again don't want to do that okay that's the enol form of this ketone basically let me draw that in for you in case you haven't done the other tutorial basically that leaves there and that picks up a proton and the same can happen again that can leave there and that picks up a proton to get you back to where you started from but this makes it a lot easier to understand the mechanism of how this attaches to this so let's draw that now in fact let's just make it a bit clearer as well just get rid of this proton a second because it's um I'll just draw that proton in a little bit better just so you can see the reaction arrows okay here we go so it loses this proton and then these electrons then go and attack this carbon and then these electrons go back onto nitrogen because nitrogen only loaned them to the double bond remember it was using its lone pairs that's where it became positive charge and that actually gives us the alpha beta uh, uh, position here so this is where the um, I didn't draw R2 in here did I so let me just do that for you so if you draw R2 in here R2 is here look Okay, so it's actually forming this bond here, the alpha beta bond. There's R2. So let's draw that back. So these two react together with those reaction arrows to give us, I'll draw it as close to the above example as I can. Down, up. No, I can't do that, can I? R2. There. This is the CH2, and that is the nitrogen. R, R. Let's put those protons in there, and that proton's always been around. And it was another proton that lost, and that is the manic reaction. You can think of variations of that. You can change the R groups on the amine to give different amine groups there, you can change the R group here um, and here and you can even start putting the R groups in there the bulkier that is the harder it's going to be to attack so you just got to take in uh, steric hindrance considerations when you do that this is quite a reactive intermediate but it doesn't have to be formaldehyde, it could be another aldehyde if you do that with another aldehyde just remember um, that this, if you change one of these, this is going to be a chiral center. This is a chiral center now, so you've got to think about um, ways of doing that chirally as well if you wanted to make it uh, an asymmetric process. And that is a manic reaction.